When you were little, what movies did you watch often? Anything Disney related, like Toy Story or The Lion King? Did your parents get you older Disney films, such as Snow White or Cinderella? Did you enjoy them? Are you an avid Disney fan, by any chance? If so, then what if I told you that there is a Disney film which has never been released, never been spoken of, and nearly dropped out of existence? First, let me give some backstory, my name is Tom Evans. I was taking a trip to Disney World with my wife, Ashley, because we were huge fans of anything Disney related and we needed to get away from our busy lives. We had very taxing jobs. We went to the Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom, and as I was admiring the craftsmanship of the marvelous castle, this very, very elderly lady walks up to me. She appeared to be very unkempt, with raggedy gray hair, a flabbed and wrinkled face, a somewhat crooked nose, dented, cracked, as yellow teeth, and a lazy eye. I noticed she was wearing the park employee uniform, and had her own name tag, so I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I noticed that her name was Ashley. Hey, you have the same first name as my wife. I was a little lost struck. This lady must have been going senile. She was pointing to the castle when she said that, so at the time I thought she was asking if I'd like to go inside. It struck me as odd that she'd ask me that, I thought just anyone couldn't actually go inside even if they wanted to, but thinking it would be fun, I said yes. Once I was inside, it felt like I was in the most regal place in the world. I was in the castle's bedroom, and as I was admiring the bed, I saw something that looked out of place. There was a wooden desk next to the bed, and under its lead was a tiny scrap of paper. I picked it up. It read 837. I stuck it in my pocket, and then I noticed that Ashley wasn't around. I tried calling her phone, and I received no answer. I then received a text from her saying that she went home early because she was feeling sick. She didn't seem the slightest bit ill when I last saw her, but I believed her. Anyway, I went to my hotel room, and I investigated the paper as much as I possibly could. I used a microscope on the back, and I actually found something. There was a name. Kelios. 837 Kelios. I immediately googled that term, and the next thing I knew, my internet went down. I reset the router, unplugged and plugged it back in, restarted my computer, all that jazz. I wasn't gonna have internet service for a little while. As I was brainstorming ways to get my connection up and running, I noticed something on the desktop. A lone folder, titled 837.kilios, was sitting in the bottom right corner of the screen. I cautiously opened the folder, expecting something like a screamer to jump out at me, I've had pretty bad computer viruses before, or a blue screen of death. But no, the folder opened like any other one would. In it were three files, poster.jpg, 837.txt, and kilios wip.mpg. I opened 837.txt first, hoping for some sort of explanation. 837 ISRD. Do not distribute. Well, that certainly helped me get a better understanding of things. Not. Next, I opened poster.jpg. It must have been a film's promotional poster. Was Kelios intended to be a Disney movie, but never got realized. This poster has a relatively dark feel, not what I'd expect from a light-hearted family company. I became really, really interested now. Kelios WIP.mpeg was the last file I needed to check out. The runtime was 17 minutes. Right, then it hit me what the WIP in the file name stood for, work in progress. If this was truly an unreleased movie, it must have been cancelled early on. My gut had a feeling that it was for very good reasons. I opened it in VLC and was nearly on the edge of my seat. Half of me was excited, for I was getting to see something that Disney had kept hidden for so long and that nobody had any idea of its existence. Half of me was anxious, because I didn't know what this film was gonna be about, and I kept thinking of the old lady. She must have had something to do with this, but I would never find out what. The film is shown in its work print form, judging from the even worse than VHS quality, the timestamp in the top left corner, the date below it, August 3rd, 1987, and, property of the Walt Disney Company, do not distribute, are in the bottom of the screen. Other than those texts, there was only blackness and VHS-like audio fuzz for the first minute. About two minutes and four seconds in, the word Kelios was slowly fading into view. It was colored a dry red. It stayed there for about 15 seconds, then disappeared like a flash. Quite the opening title. After about 20 seconds of blackness, a picture of a lush, green field fades in. 
Now this seems more like something Disney would do, except there's still that grating fuzz noise, and it's an actual photograph. It cuts to a picture of a field of flowers, with a night sky which has missing stars. I expected this to be an animated film, not a compilation of photographs. The next photo is of a bowl of fruit. Part of me now thought that this was some kind of joke. Still, I sat patiently. After all, I still had about 8 minutes to go. The next 3 minutes were just pictures, mostly of flowers or trees, but as time went on they got increasingly off-putting. A picture of an empty street came up, and after that, a picture of a completely empty house. The next picture was of a graveyard, with neat rows of gravestones, trees devoid of leaves, and a lone man in the distance, standing over a grave. I couldn't make out any detail on him, and he appeared to be colored all black as if he were a silhouette. The slideshow stopped there. When the timer was about 8 minutes in, the picture zoomed in at a snail's pace. It moved so slow that if you could only notice it was zooming in if you put your face up against the monitor. This went on until there was only one minute of the video left. It zoomed in far enough to the point where you could see the figure up close, now it no longer looked like a shadow, but rather a human being. A human being who seemed familiar, very familiar. From what I could see, the human being was an old lady, who had long, unkempt, stringy hair, and a crooked nose. In the very last frame, it cut to a picture of the front of a gravestone. Ashley Evans was engraved on the nameplate. The monitor went completely black. I could see my face, and my nose was a little longer than I remembered, and my hair was longer and somewhat stringy. I haven't seen my wife since. I tried filing a missing persons report, but they kept denying me for some reason. I need to head off for now, my teeth are in a lot of pain.